It's been a month since I moved back to Lithuania and started here. The temperature has been negative almost every day this month, with the occasional beautiful sunny day. I want to run you through what I've been through and done since then. On a cold frosty morning almost a month ago, a truck arrived with a bunch of parts which were in my greenhouse. What ensued was me trying to learn how to read the cryptic instruction manual and build this thing. The greenhouse, right in this area here, between these two trees. In, in, in this white area you want to build a greenhouse. <laughs> I will have to clear off the snow and clear off the, the topsoil. So we're digging out the topsoil of where the, the greenhouse is going to stand. Status update, uh, it's February 13th I want to say. Back to work trying to, to put together this greenhouse. A little bit of status update. Uh, I went a little steered off the instructions. I already screwed up on the first part. I cut the one of these side pieces inside out. Oh, status update. Trying to put this greenhouse together. Oh, it's such crappy weather conditions for this. It's wet. There's mud everywhere. Windy and it's getting a little too cold. So when I'm not outside working my butt in the cold, I'm likely on my computer with a thousand tabs open, looking, doing research, figuring out, for example, how am I going to build a rocket stove, something which I'm hoping can heat my greenhouse because it's pretty freaking cold right now. And I'm ordering seeds and figuring out what the hell can I store water in because it's raining right now and I need to figure out how to how am I going to water my plants how am I going to stay hydrated myself and further <laughs> because I ordered so many seeds I am researching about them and figuring out what can I grow because I want to try to grow everything I'm on the last step of uh, putting on the roof of the greenhouse. I'm proud to say I finally got the roof of the greenhouses on. They're retractable roofs. You can see here, they're three parts. And God, by myself, they were a pain in the butt to get on. I'm worried because last Thursday, a week ago, um, this sheet here, uh, the sheet just completely flew off because these sides weren't fastened down completely, so... Hi and welcome to my living room. Right now it's this greenhouse. I don't have any furniture. I have a bag of trash as a, a cushion and I'm still not ready to move in yet, but I have my tent and I will be very soon, but for right now I'm going to get ready to start digging a hole and laying bricks out to make a stove, a rocket stove. So I received some questions about this land that I'm working with. There's all these trees here. Am I going to cut them down and, and prepare a garden bed? And, and for starts, the first year, no. I'm following uh, permaculture. Um, I've been studying permaculture on my own time for the past year. I've ordered online courses and whatnot. And I'm going to try to, the first year is mainly just to observe and interact. So I'm, I'm gonna plant as many annuals as I can. Anything that's not permanent because I don't know where I want to put the apple trees and all the perennials around yet. Um, so for starts, it's, it's March 9th right now, still pretty early in the season, but I've already started my first pirate garden, uh, which is, there's parsnips, which will hopefully grow from underneath here and I just transplanted some Jerusalem artichokes from a different place um, and I plan to grow 
basically everything I can, uh, everything that will grow here. And I know that I won't have enough time to take care of, of everything uh, like a farmer would. So that's why I'm going with pirate gardens. And pirate gardens are basically gardens which you set up and nature does most of the work. Like I don't plan on weeding them too often, maybe once or twice throughout the season, but I just want to see what will grow around here. And uh, from my previous experiments with growing radishes last year, they, they grew excellent with very, very little effort. So I see how it goes from there. The difficulty with growing vegetables in, in this first year of mine is that I still don't have anything set up. I'm trying to figure out how to get water cisterns so I can start catching rainwater from my greenhouse. I will have to figure out how to get energy, whether it's solar panels or biofuel. Um, and I, I need to like make my, my greenhouse more sturdy. I spent the first night there last night it was a crazy windstorm and it hailed at one point in the night and the door was creaky it was cold i i still have yet to get around to starting my rocket stove because now i realize i have to prepare uh, a driveway so that uh, clay can be hauled in so th there's so many different things that i'm trying to do at the same time on top of starting my garden it's an exciting time <laughs>